Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, coming back at you with the final London Face It Major Pick'em Challenge predictions. Let's get right into it. So from the last stage, we ended up getting 15 points. Um, NIP got really hard draws, Fnatic choked, and Mouse literally just bombed out. Um, fortunately though, I do not have to eat a raw egg because Wind Strike went 0-3. We're sitting at 20 points in total, which is top 20%. I mean, it's not, not terrible, it's not great either though. But we are in a good position to get gold because each correct pick in quarterfinals gets 12 points, semis is 10, and the finals is 7. So all we got to do is basically get the quarterfinals right and one of the semifinal picks and we'll have that gold trophy. So it's not really that big of a deal. Um, as far as the quarterfinals go though, let's get right into it. Complexity versus MIBR. Um, I'm going with MIBR. Because I think while Complexity is like on fire right now, like they're you know new, they're fresh, pretty hot team. Um, at this stage in the game, MIBR's caliber of players is way higher than Complexity. Complexity's never even been. None of the players in Complexity have even been to the playoffs of a major. When MIBR's fully consisted of major winners, like it's literally just a tier one versus tier two difference. So the safe pick here is MIBR. I'm giving it like a 70 to 30 chance that MIBR wins. Um, maybe if Complexity all toggles, they would win. But I just think MIBR is the more uh, veteran team, and they should be taking that. Uh, the second matchup, Big versus Navi. This should 100% be going to Navi. I mean, as much as I love Big and the German team, um, I I don't see how they win this because Navi is just looking lights out right now, and Big lost to Complexity. So that's a little bit, you know, iffy for me. Um, I believe Navi also beat Big uh, earlier on in the stage. They uh, they beat them on Inferno or something. Not 100% on that. But I know Navi also 3-1 them at the ESL Cologne Grand Finals. Just historically, Navi should be taking this match. Um, next game, Liquid vs. Hellraisers. This is the easiest one for me. This should be Liquid all day long. Liquid is lights out this entire event. Hellraisers barely scrape by. Um, this should just be Liquid dominating Hellraisers. It should be a quick 2-0. That should be guaranteed 12 points no matter what. This final matchup, Astralis versus FaZe, this is the one that I think can go either way. I literally think this game is 50-50. And while I really, really like FaZe Clan because I'm just a huge fan of them, uh, their style, their playstyle, um, I am going to go with Astralis just because that is the safer pick for the Pickums. Even though, I, I hope you guys realize by now, there is no safe pick. Literally everyone is beating everyone. Um, you know, this is the weirdest major I think I've ever, like, covered. Uh, but I am going to go with Astralis because of previous matchups and just how FaZe is looking in form right now. Uh, I don't see... I really don't see FaZe winning unless it's a very close 2-1. to one, Like, 16-14 or maybe, a, you know, an overtime or 2. Uh, especially with Nico IGLing, I mean that's completely new. Uh, Astralis should have that like no problem. Uh, again, but it could be close depending if Phase just turns up and they play like how they normally do. Okay, so with these picks for quarterfinals, um, the semifinals is going to be MIBR versus Navi, Liquid versus Astralis. Uh, again, you have to pick the entire bracket at once. You cannot go map by map. So we have to pick our whole bracket now. So based off these matchups that I picked for the semifinals, I think, I really think Navi would also be MIBR. Because I'm like, ah uh, man, just Navi's, Navi's on another level recently and MIBR still looks like they're like trying to put the pieces together. Uh, you know, everyone, pretty much everyone on Navi and everyone on MIBR is like a major winner. So, I, I guess, it, I mean, no, Davi's not a major winner, but they, they got runner-up. I guess it could go either way. These matchups are just so hard, man. They're literally best of threes, and we don't even know who's going to advance past the quarterfinals. Uh, but I'm going to go with Navi because I believe they're the stronger team overall. Uh, Liquid versus Astralis. Dude, that's Astralis. Uh, all day, every day. Uh, Liquid's never taken a BO3 off them. Um, I think in their last 20 games, it's like 17 maps to Astralis and 3 maps to Liquid. <clears throat> so that would leave us with Navi versus Astralis for the finals. 
Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of Astralis. Um, and I also believe that my top half of the bracket is stronger than the lower half. Because the lower half could go any which way. So, based off these bracket picks, I am going to choose Navi as the grand final winner. Um, I think I'm choosing this just because, let's say Astralis does lose to FaZe, then at least I still have Navi going through to get me some points. Um, I, I don't think, like, like Astralis has FaZe and then Liquid to play. Those are much harder matchups than Big and MIBR. So it would make no sense to pick Astralis as the winner because then if they get eliminated in the quarterfinals, you don't get points for that whole way through. So I'm going to pick Navi. Uh, these are going to be my final picks. I, I might switch this Astralis phase. Uh, if I do switch, I'll let you guys know in the comments below. Um, I think these are solid. These are like somewhat safe, somewhat risky picks. Um, I don't think they're that risky. These are like really safe, man. Uh, honestly, out of all eight of these teams, anybody can win this tournament. So you should, you should honestly form your picks on your own opinion. Uh, but what I know from, you know, analyzing HLTV and, like, being a semi-decently, like, you know, semi-professional player, uh, this is who I would have winning if there was, like, really no upsets besides the, you know, MIBR complexity. Um, anyway, so I'm going to lock this in. Let me know if you guys agree with my picks. If you disagree, uh, if you think some of my picks are shitty, if you think they're good, um... Let me know down in the comments below what you end up picking. And uh, this will be the last video for the Face It Major London 2018. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace!